Louisiana Beer Reviews presents a taste challenge. Okay. Um, I made a few little mistakes off the left on the um, original shoot. I'm going to try it again, and uh, now you might say, oh, you're cheating. You're probably mixing them up. Really, if you're going to cheat in a taste challenge with this, you got some kind of mental problems. That's the way I look at it. It's like, if I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. I'm not too uh, concerned about it, let me assure you. Okay. This is Budweiser. Ooh. All right. Trying to twist it back so I can keep the carbonation in it. <laughs> well, all right, I give up. And versus Pap's Blue Ribbon. Eighteen forty-four, four point seven four percent alcohol. Budweiser, 1876, 5% alcohol in America. They dropped it to 4.8 in merry old England. Um, there's an old 1996 bottle. There's the modern bottle. 1996 Budweiser bottle, written in print. The new one is in cursive. And this, this is the America version. Well, you know, that's just for 4th of July marketing reasons. It seems to uh, kind of work. Your uh, Joe Six Pack type of beer drinker seems to like that. So the people you are you perfect. <laughs> this is incredible. The people that um your butt <laughs> your Budweiser drinkers they um they think that kind of stuff is cool. Your craft beer drinkers want to puke, you know, you know how it goes. The Bud drinkers thought that Bud Wise was cool. And the more gourmet beer drinkers rolled their eyes and said, for real? Okay. See, I think I forgot to do the mixy match, you know, mix them up. But I was able to immediately tell them apart. That was the most amazing part of it. But then if I didn't mix them up, people are going to say, yeah, I didn't prove nothing. Okay, put my 2000 season Houston Astros cap here. Remember when they had that kind of burnt orange Texas Longhorns color? And then the next year they went to more of a brick red. There might have been some blowback people saying they were favoring the Texas Longhorns more. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that's a real paper ribbon, too. Jim Beam says to keep your mouth open when you smell beverages because you can get a better appreciation. I think they're right. What do they know about alcoholic beverages? Budweiser, perhaps Blue Ribbon. I don't have to taste it. This has too much of a boiled rice aroma. It's just boiled rice. It's super clean. It's just Budweiser. Paps has that roasted barley malt. I mean, it's so roasted. It's like just brown bread and bread crust and roasted malts. Oh, it smells so good. Just, I know, all right, I'm not going to taste it. Budweiser, Paps. I mean, I'll taste it now just for the video, but. Clean, slightly green, boiled rice, get that ice pick to the forehead presentation. Some people hate that with a hating hatred that hates. I understand that. Budweiser is like a crucifix to a vampire with many people in the beer drinking community. But I kind of like it in a quaint little way for that reason, actually. Um, not to say I don't like it on its own merits. I do. This is $9.99 a 12-pack here. Uh, Paps is going for $9.79 a 12-pack. So we're talking about a $0.20 cent difference.
Most of malts reminds me of Falstaff. That kind of unique, strange wine thing that the brewmaster talks about, even back to 1980, because of that Carlsberger yeast strain they use. They're using corn syrup as their filler. Budweiser is using the verdant boiled rice as their uh, adjunct. Um, which one's better? Um, It's a tie, honestly. I mean, they're both good to me. I like them both. I would drink them all the time. Well, actually, oh yeah, I do drink this kind of stuff all the time anyway. Um, I just get Milwaukee's Best because it's like fifteen ninety eight a 30-pack here, and these aren't. These are better than Milwaukee's Best, though, to be truthfully. Um... Okay, so it's a tie. I mean, I don't, there's nothing else to say about it. Uh, Budweiser has its little place, or its, like, massively huge place. <laughs> and Pabst has its pretty big place. I guess in 2000, 2001, it was kind of its little place. But, um, yeah, I mean, do adjunct lagers taste generally, generally the same? Yes, they do. Do they taste exactly the same? No. Oh, no. Not in this case. Mm -mm. A winner? And another winner. I really honestly cannot say which one I would choose over the other. I would choose both. Thank you for watching this video production, and y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.